what's happening everybody welcome back to redemption with Jaden. we are back with more lackey grand prix number 15 gameplay however this is going to be the end of it at least for the games that i'm involved in uh, we might might try to record some of the top cut games if people will allow but i am not in top cut and neither is my uh, current opponent of, of this game neither of us made it and we both were we knew that we wouldn't going into this game, so we decided that we wanted to have a little bit of fun with this game. I mean, both of us, I think, were already kind of on board. We were, we were planning to do what we, uh, you know, what we wanted to do, uh, regardless. But we we did confirm before the game, like, all right, you're not you're not like trying hard or you know, like going like super competitive or anything, right? Yeah, no, of course not, because. Uh, we're we're towards the bottom of the of the food chain here of the you know, tournament standings, and we wanted to have a little bit of fun, try some things out. And uh, coincidentally, you may have noticed if you are a watcher of Babuti Tim's video that he did a concealed riches combo kind of video uh, <laughs> just uh, within the last couple of days. He did a deck tech on the uh, concealed riches Ashkelon pairing, which uh, B uh, Bingling. Seth brought up on Discord uh, the other day. He was just like, hey, you know, has anyone tried out Ashkelon with Concealed Riches? Seems like it would be good to just guarantee getting the Ashkelon combo on turn two, even though you, you give up the opportunity, the, the possibility of getting it turn one, but that's fairly unlikely anyway, so you might as well just go with it turn two. You could also use, uh, since you're using Concealed Riches, you could also put in some things in reserve to uh, deal with counters that your opponent might have, like maybe a negate neutrals that's dealing with your uh, your your Ashkelon, or negating your Ashkelon, uh, which I guess if they have negate neutrals that's out, then you can't use Concealed Riches to get to it, so you have to have other ways to deal with their negate neutrals card, I guess, but uh, you can deal with like hand protection, and you could, you could even throw like the cross in there, and maybe Golgotha so that you can actually activate it after you use Concealed Riches, uh, you do have to have more slots available for that, but uh, the, the Ashkelon combo doesn't really take up that much uh, as far as like reserve, like different cards, I guess, that you need. So it, it should be actually fairly easy to get what you want on turn two. You do have to make sure that you have enough cards in your discard pile. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you want more information on that, go watch his video. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I'm just kind of putting the pieces together. Uh, I'll have to get to that a little bit later on. But uh, just coincidentally, this too is a Concealed Riches uh, combo deck, which kind of came from what Seth had suggested. And I was like, well, doing it with Ashkelon might be kind of boring. Let's do something a little bit more fun. Let's do it with the Mimic and Grain combo and let's do it with mill as well so in this game we're going to try to try to answer once and for all does mill win games if you don't get it it's there's a little bit of an inside joke to that which will be explained at the end of the video but for now we got to figure out if we can mill our opponent out and win the game uh it just with one combo and uh, maybe win the game with the angel party that would be kind of cool uh it you, it does require more, uh, or it, it does require consistent ways to get Angel Party out of reserve, which is something that the the deck could use a little bit of uh, more of. Which I haven't even explained the combo really yet, uh, so I should do that first before I get into what should change about the deck. But <laughs> uh, so let's do that. All right, so we've got Famished here. Uh, well, let's let's start with uh, Slave to Egypt. Just capture all heroes in battle. Discard the top three cards of a deck. You're just going to want to play that, discard the top three cards of a deck. Then Famish, discard the top three cards of a deck and play an enhancement. And that enhancement is going to be Mimicking Miracles, which if used by a magician, you can copy the special ability of an enhancement until end of turn. If you've been watching my videos the past couple weeks, you are familiar with this interaction with Grain Offering, which uh, says bounce up to three evil cards, which Mimicking Miracles, Famished, and Slave to Egypt are all evil cards that you could bounce uh, if you copy... Grain Offering's ability with something like Mimicking Miracles. So if you can play all three of these in battle, say you have initiative to do so, then you get to discard their top six cards and then bounce these three enhancements back to your hand because of the lovely four activations rule, which, you know, is, or I'm, I'm sure 
most people are thankful for at this point with Ashkelon and you know, mimicking grain stuff going around. Mimicking grain, not so much, but Ashkelon for sure. Uh, the four activations rule is coming into handy there, <laughs> stopping things from getting a little too out of hand. And uh, But here it, it limits you to discarding only 24 cards from your opponent's deck in one battle. I know, it's it's not a whole lot. <laughs> in last week's video, for reference, I was able to get 17-ish uh, cards milled from my opponent's deck with just a, like, mill-focused deck. And uh, this one, as long as you can pull it off, you're probably going to get more than that. I mean, you if you can pull it off, you're going to get more than that. Uh, if you don't pull it off, then you're going to get a lot less because I actually uh, I kept some of the defense the same, but I removed a lot of the, the mill components and just made the defense a little bit beefier to try to actually block while I try to get Angel Party to work and try to pull off the combo. So that is, that, that's the, the baseline, kind of what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, it works well because Grain Offering, well, you know, before I had it in Widow's Tables, now you can just hold it in Ramsey's. Uh, you could do Widow's Tables in here before, or as, as well, as just an alternative uh, way to make it work. And that was something that I had considered because I did change up the offense a little bit to be fairly condensed and just a little bit of... Uh, speed stuff going on, and, and Peter and Resurrection were both uh, considerations for the deck, similar to the initial uh, Mimicking Grain combo that I had you know, tried to, to pull off with Confusion and all that, um, which Confusion is still in here, and that's certainly a, a valid possibility, but it's like discarding only four cards isn't as cool as getting 24. So I'm, I'll, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Confusion might still might be able to pull that off, but uh, if we can, we're gonna we're gonna do the go for the 24. That's that's the goal here. Uh, so, anyways, very small package of just a little bit of speed stuff. Get to Matthew, try to set things up, help get to the combo on turn two if we can, and uh, that will be by getting to concealed riches, which could also be. Uh, activated by with delivered that's going to be kind of the main way to to get to it i guess and you know delivered might have to search for that with something like crowd's choice so it's uh there's definitely a chance that you know this you, you don't get any of the pieces early uh so by turn two um i, I wouldn't I, I can't say that i've tested it enough to even uh suggest that it's consistently or that you're, you'd be consistently able to do it on turn two at this deck. I do think one of the things I would change is probably bringing it down from 57 to 50 in order to make that a little bit more of a possibility because really you want, you know, you, you want that to, you, you want to pull off the combo in order to actually close out the game because really Angel Party is the only win condition uh, that I've got going for me here. Uh, you know, Justin Martyr getting back Blood of the Lamb every turn just isn't quite going to cut it. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that is pretty much what we're going for. I mean, I guess, like, the win condition of, like, 20 shekels to bounce one evil character each turn and then try to discard it with confusion or something. I don't know. Uh, it's, yeah, not going to not gonna work very well. So, I mean, the defense can deal with their defense a little bit, I suppose, with, like, better to be slaves. But still, anyways probably not going to happen. Angel party is, is the way to go. Uh, no, no real backup plan here, but you know, that's, that's fine. Uh, we, if we come here with only angel party in mind, then that means that we have to go for it. Remember that we have to go for it. We have to get to angel party. Remember that. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the first time of me playing this deck. Okay. Yeah. You'll have to be a little bit understanding, but, um, yeah, get to, get to angel party. It's important. Uh, the mill aspects that I did not remove from the main deck or from the previous version or the Gods of Egypt and Plague of Hail, I just felt like the, the payoffs there were big enough where, like, sure, 24 cards is cool, but what if I can get, like, 34 cards? It's probably not going to happen. It's a little bit too slow to get it set up. Like, if I'm getting to the combo on turn two, they're not going to have enough cards left to hit with Plague of Hail and with Gods of Egypt. Like, 24 cards, 
let's say your opponent's playing a 50 card deck with seven lost souls if they you know draw their eight they're going to be at least with 42 cards in deck probably going to average you know somewhere between one and three lost souls in there so let's just say a 40 card deck after that and then you know a lot of people do some drawing and searching and, and that kind of stuff within the first turn or two so like really when you get to 24 cards out then you're probably not going to have that much left we also have you know ramses in here that can still do a little bit of milling begging to go back was actually something that i added just because it lets you uh, kind of pseudo combo or you get you know partially there if you have begging to go back instead and it also helps answer some of the protection issues that you know some people might have storehouse or bethlehem stable that's trying to rain on the parade uh, begging to go back is a way to deal with that discard two cards and then do the the other stuff to get you know extra cards you get to you know 23 cards with that that way uh, and then there's also pharaoh's dream which is uh, actually a great defensive like chump block here uh, and if you don't need it as a chump block it's an alternative for something like slave to egypt technically also a, an alternative to famine but the plane enhancement on famished is actually pretty important i said famine the first time famished uh, is actually fairly important because you might not be or you, you might be passing initiative with slave to egypt and pharaoh's dream so that you can't necessarily guarantee that you'll be able to play mimicking miracles without your opponent having some way to interact with it a lot of times assuming that i'm doing this in a side battle i can kind of orchestrate it so that i'm fairly confident that my opponent won't be able to play anything but sometimes you just don't have a choice uh, and so if i'm playing slave to egypt or pharaoh's dream then i want to play famished afterwards to get the discard and then the play next that's that's kind of the ideal the uh you know best case scenario um so yeah then the the rest of the deck is or the defense i guess is just trying to actually get blocks here and try to set up the combo is kind of what we're we're going for so even foreign wives came into the main deck dreaming pharaohs in here to you know, have some uh protection divining damsel and conjurers came in to kind of help make sure that i can do the combo it gives me some magicians gives me some uh some tutors uh or speed i guess uh damsel with the, the drawing and conjurers with the searching help me get to either combo pieces or to help block because they're just strong blockers as well especially when i've got chump blocks like dou in here uh or from playing stuff something like confusion you know conjurers is good for that conjurers also makes it the the concealed riches a little bit less taxed because uh we've got at least three cards that we want well four five six uh we've got a lot of cards in reserve that we want to pull out i mean like ideally best case scenario like if i don't have anything that i need for the combo other than you know ramses in my territory i want like all 10 of these cards in the reserve probably eight uh, and each of them has a very specific purpose, I guess. So Simon goes in for the choose the blocker, so I have initiative to play the side battle uh, enhancement. Then the side battle is going to be created between a magician, which Egyptian Soothsayers is, but I can also use one of the other ones that uh, I have in the main deck. So Conjurers is going to be helpful. Egyptian Magicians is good. Damsel is also good, but initiative is bad. So you got to be careful with that. And then grain offering, of course, is what we need to be able to copy with Mimicking Miracles. We've got the discard enhancements, which I already talked about. We have an alternative here with Pharaoh's Dream. Lamech is actually the kind of ideal uh, opposing character for the side battle because he says discard abilities on evil cards are regardless of protect abilities. So I mentioned my opponent's Storehouse or Bethlehem Stable earlier or in Crowd's Lost Soul, what have you. Uh, this makes it so that I don't even have to worry about negating those because all discard abilities and evil cards are regardless of protect abilities when Lamech enters battle. And so that includes, you know, ones that your opponent plays as well or, you know, uh, all cards played by any player. And it does give my opponent the option to ban to an antediluvian female, but I don't think there are any that can mess up the strategy. Uh, I haven't actually checked, but there's like two and... Uh, yeah, uh, it should be fine. 
So I do have to have Famished with Lamech, though, in order to not give my opponent initiative, uh, because you, know, you, you can get up to 7 Toughness, which works with Egyptian Magicians, Conjurers, and Soothsayers by playing either Slave to Egypt or Pharaoh's Dream, but then if you play Famished, then, uh, or I guess if you played the other one, then you would be in Stalemate. If you play Famished, then you get to discard the top 3 and then play Mimicking Miracles right away as a part of Famished ability. Pharaoh's Curse is a good way to be able to also deal with your opponent's uh, interaction stuff. It's not quite as important because Playmech usually just kind of deals with that, uh, is is good enough for that. But uh, you know, Pharaoh's Curse is a good backup plan, and you can also grab it with some other stuff. Uh, it's just a decent card to have as an option for for battle. I mean, negate and discard a good card is good in Special Initiative, or it's a battle winner, so uh, good with... Egyptian Horsemen, and the Murdering Pharaoh, and I guess Conjurers if needed. And, I, you know, it could be something else, but that's just what I, uh, I thought would be best in this slot. And then Angel Party is, of course, our finisher. So all the 10 cards in reserve are going to be fairly useful, I think, uh, with perhaps with the exception of Pharaoh's Curse, but I couldn't bring it... I couldn't... Uh, bring myself to cut it for anything else. Maybe if I were to trim down to 50, I would have to shift something into the reserve into that slot. I don't know. But uh, if I do, I would probably cut Gods of Egypt as the dominant. Cut Plague of Hail, maybe, and the Moses stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm using the Ex uh, the um, Moses the Deliverer from the Exodus like offense starter deck. Uh, and, of course, this is the, the special promo for it, but it's the same version in that in that starter deck, and that's mostly for the brigades. It's it's okay, I, I think. Like the uh, the goal isn't really to be attacking with him; it's really just to to play a plague of hail. But uh, you know, push comes to shove, he can he can get in there and get it done. He's a twelve ten. So if I get rid of my opponent's defense with the milling stuff, then uh, that's pretty good. And then also. Uh, I need ways to bounce him with Angel Party, and if I have Send the Helper and 20 Shekels, then I'm more likely to be able to bounce him than I am if I were using, like, Mulligan Moses or something like that, uh, which, you know, it's it's one more option, because Send the Helper is, is only one more option, but uh, this version also lets me play Lost Child Found to help deal with some of their interaction, like if they have some protection or negate neutrals or something, I can bounce their... Uh, you know, I can bounce them, uh, bounce it. Uh, Playing of Hail might stay because it also helps deal with some of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, cutting down to 50 might be a little bit of a challenge, and but I do think it would probably be worth it, and I think that the other mill stuff in the deck doesn't necessarily need to be there because, let's be real, if you do pull off the combo, mill 24 cards, hopefully on turn two, you're probably going to be in pretty good shape. Maybe. As long as you remember to get Angel Party. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of foreshadowing there. Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. Uh, anyways, my opponent for this round is none other than the player formerly known in Discord as LOJ Games, now known as Hi, I'm Null. So uh, I'll just call him Null from now on, I guess. Because uh, that's, that's who he is. That's, that's what his name says. Um, so Null decided to play a... Uh, very interesting deck that took me a little bit as we were playing to to figure out, and you'll kind of get to experience that dialogue back and forth, but I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler now. It's about uh, some, like, Red Warriors banding stuff, but it ends with Flood Survivors. Interesting. How does that work? And uh, and what, what what's he trying to, to pull off there? Uh, you'll actually get to see a, a decent chunk of it, and uh, it, it will... Like, it, this is a fairly well-balanced game, Fairly interesting. Uh, I, you know, I won't uh, won't give away the the final result, of course, but uh, just just know that I'm, I'm it's it's one of my more proud videos to to give you guys. I, I think it'll be entertaining, and you know it's not su not going to be super competitive, but we both had a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys will have fun watching. I think that's that's all I really need to discuss with uh, regard to the deck. That's uh, everything else is just kind of in here to either win battles or to pull off the combo, uh, and or basically block and pull off the combo. I, I shouldn't say win battles for offense because that's 
not really what we're trying to do, uh, but we are trying to get the combo off and, and mill 24 cards. Pretty much exact, like literally half of most opponents' decks. More than half if you don't count Lost Souls, but of course Lost Souls also get milled. Like they don't, you know, mill an, an additional card for getting a Lost Soul in play. Uh, and unfortunately, I did cut the harvest time. Like if I were to keep it at 57 and just kind of adjust things a little bit, I might just put harvest time in there instead of the Gods of Egypt. But uh, I don't know. Something that might be worth testing at some point. Probably not. But uh, <laughs> I think. This, this was actually a fairly fun combo to try to pull off. Uh, before we get into the game, of course, I've got to talk about our sponsors over at Your Turn Games. They are very generous sponsors of the channel and just nice people uh, that provide singles and other uh, and display boxes and packs and everything for redemption. All of your redemption gaming needs as you are building decks or you know maybe you want to skip the the deck building and just get a pre-built one uh, that is an option over at your turn games as well so thank you to them for supporting this content and without further ado let's get into the game you good to go yeah right. i've drawn my cards i got a soul sweet um yeah. also have yeah. a couple souls humble lawless okay that could be that could be a couple things. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I mean, they they kind of go in most decks, so you know it's not. Yeah, doesn't reveal a whole lot here. Uh, I can I, I can roll out one idea. All right, you won the roll. Uh, yeah, I got a five. Okay. Um, what do I do with this hand? Interesting. What do you do with that hand? Uh, I don't even know. I think I'd probably go first. I guess. All right. Stars. Yep. Um, no stars for me. I've got one star. I got the Throne of David. All right. And I'm going to go get Outcast Refuge, David. Cool, cool. Seems good. Yep. Uh, all right, do my Lawless. Uh, I will reveal my top all right. six here. Okay, a few things. Looks like we're working with some kind of Milderness type thing. Yeah, it could be could be something could along be those that. lines. Uh, could be that. A... Could be the uh, mimicking grain I've seen on your channel recently. There <laughs> might be might be some of that going on. We'll see. Uh, Pharaoh's we'll see. We'll see. Daughter, I think, is what. You know. I mean, yeah, I'd say. I mean, I mean, you've just got a beautiful pull here. I mean, there's so many things you can pick from. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of tough. I think. I do like the flexibility of uh, three woes here, but I think I'm actually just going to take the... Let's uh, take the Mask of Fear, yeah. Okay. I don't know, that was, that was tough. I'm, I'm probably going to think yeah. about that later on. And... That... <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I don't yeah, know what to do with this deck yet, so we'll see. Uh, you got a grumble. Yeah, I mean, I just this is a more new deck myself. Uh, I kind of just recently refined it a little. I'm not sure how good it's gonna be though. <laughs> well. Then again, that that's what this game is for. We're not really here to win. We're here to have as much fun as possible. Because let's be honest, top cuts out of the question. Exactly. I'm like five point five, you're six. It's like just let's just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> yep, have a little bit of fun here. Yep. Become silly, Billy. Play fun deck. <laughs> yep. And doing grumbled. Oh yeah, I forgot we were still on soul abilities. <laughs> I get to. I getting caught up in conversation. I gotta get a little bit more serious. <laughs> um. We can have fun, know, just what? not too much fun, you know. Yeah. We're gonna throw. Hmm, we're gonna throw throne at the bottom of my deck to draw one. Fair enough. Right. You got a, got some use from it already. <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, I most the star ability obviously values good as well. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, technically, I don't think you have to show me which card you under deck, but. Uh, oh I yeah, yeah. Really matters. I, I I just think it's like nicer. I feel like it's kind of cheap to not show your opponent what you're under, even though you don't have to. It's like it's kind of cheap not to, in my opinion. Yeah. So, I mean, like. I don't know if it I'd would. Rather, but... Yeah, to each their own, I guess. With that, yeah. Um, 
All right. Well, I will take us away then. All righty. Um, got two decent options with artifacts here. Um, mm -hmm. I think. I'll put this one face down. I will put this one okay. up. I'm gonna activate confusion of mind. So you have the option mm -hmm. here. Um. Well, there's quite a few options. Um. I think we do discard for it. I'm going to get rid of Israel's bow and Calvin Oh, okay. There it goes. Yep, interesting to see Calvin in the same deck as David Outcast Refuge. A little bit. We'll, uh, we'll see. Interested to see what's what's going on here. Uh, put down a yeah. Justin Martyr. We'll pop a good seed in territory. All right, yeah, this, this, this looks like a good setup. I, I, love, I love to see Revelation Martyrs get some love. Right, yeah. And I'll go to battle, if that's cool with you. Yeah, I don't mind. All right, I'll attack with Mr. Martyr, and I'm actually not going to search. And I'm also not going to block. I uh, accept. Um, with that, I will pass the turn. All right, I will draw for turn. Let me just... Okay, a couple souls here. A few options. Prosperity and Lawless. All right, yeah. I have one star ability, which will be stricken. Oh. Um, lawless. Options, options. I'm going to do it on myself. All right. Okay, so we're going to get that Wanderer in play here. I like Wanderer. I think that's useful. And quite a few options. I think I'm going to go Crowd's Choice. Yeah, Put the rest seems on the bottom. reasonable. Yeah, I mean... Why well, get one card when you can get every card in your deck? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Opens up your All options. Right, um, let's see. What about what about prosperity? What do we want to do? We want to do prosperity. Hmm. You just throw away that, David. You don't need him. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um. <laughs> you know what? I don't need stricken. It's already served its purpose. I'll draw two. Makes sense. And hey, would you look at that? It's darkness. I'm gonna go get any evil character now. Yeah. Breaking um, out the lost souls. Yeah, you know what? Looking at my deck, let's go for one of my personal favorites. Um, this is an evil character. Let's get that. You. Yeah. Um. Well then, well then. Options, options. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna finally go into prep phase. Mm-hmm. Let me just fix that a little. And then I will go ahead and I think... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down Egypt and use it to search. Yep. Let's go get me... I'm going to get Noah's Ark of Salvation. Uh-huh. The, 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 the brain functions are going. It's like, what is he running? <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Uh... And, and feel like it's kind of slowly coming together in pieces here. Yeah. We're going to put down Noah's Ark of Salvation. We're going to put down Storehouse, I think. Yep. Is timely occurrence. Do we do we go for the silly billy here? Do we do we do we do it? Do we do it? <laughs> uh I feel like that depends. I think we're going to I think we're going to hold off on that first. I think because I'm questioning whether I want to... Yeah, I mean... I really need a block next turn, so as much <laughs> as I want to do the Silly Billy play, I think what we do is... We're going to play Buckler. Okay. The best card in Redemption. <laughs> the best uh, card in the game. I don't know, I feel like it can't be as much of a meme now that it's not a... Zero two enhancement that doesn't good. do anything, you know? Yeah. yeah, now that it's actually good, it's less funny. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, add, we'll add Jehu's sword. All actually, right. not quite. Unless, I mean, I haven't no, closed you're good. my It's you're reasonable good. to... We'll do Mighty Men All right. instead. And then, yeah, okay. So, do we play David as me? That that's what I'm debating here. <laughs> do we do we do it in order to get what we want? Uh, I think we're gonna. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna hold on. 
off on that. I'm going to play Crowd's Choice as evil. All right. And, yeah, I don't think there's a better option. We're just going to... Actually, you know what? We're going to get Armor Bearer, I think. Okay. I think correct play. Um, it's not the Deceiver, but it effectively acts as it when you're playing only Philistines. Basically. So uh, it only gets of... unique Philistines, though, so it's... Yeah. Speaking of only playing Philistines, we're going to play that as a site. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to put down Armor Bearer. We're going to throw that in Ashkelon. Ashkelon trigger. Um, hmm. We'll discard Blood of the Lamb and then ask for Dominant Initiative. Go for it. We're going to shipwreck the Ashkelon. Okay. Yep, and then that'll get back Blood of the Lamb. Yep. Okay. You know, yeah. I, I almost dropped my shipwreck on Storehouse right away, but I uh, yeah. figured Sometimes I should probably, should probably be a patient. Yeah, better okay. to be patient. I kind of wish I kept that covenant with Noah right about now, because that mean that would have meant I did not have to play David as Mink. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I hate it, but I'll be able to... I'm just going to see if there a way that I can not do that. Um, I mean, theoretically there is, but it's a huge gamble. That's a very, very large gamble that I'm not sure whether I want to take that risk. So I think we'll be patient. We'll be patient for now. We're going we're gonna to chill a little. And um, this is the first round, so I can't go into my reserve. I'm going to yep. put down a couple guys. So and... not Meek David? <laughs> not Meek David. Right. Um, okay, so here's what we do. We do that, 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 that. Yeah. So we go Hananiah. Um, Hananiah is going to go get a weapon from my deck. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, let's play a little thematically. I'm going to put the sling stones on David. All right. I have a problem with it. And then... Dislike that, but it's fine. We're gonna go, David. David, do we care? Do we care to do that? I don't think we do. I'm just gonna do Mighty Men and then Mighty Men to, I guess, let's negate Lawless and then look at your hand. Sure. So let's see what you got here. You got, you got one evil brigade. Just the one. And more importantly, it looks like you have very little to no evil characters. Yeah, it's, uh... So I'll put that in there. Hmm. Your block. David is currently protected. Um... By... Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, my deck is also protected by Stricken. Yep. So I don't think, uh, yeah, doesn't really seem like it's worth doing anything there. I will not block. Oops. Alrighty, I'll put my guys back. And you know what? I don't think I like humble. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play face down art, and I'm gonna play Shem. I'm gonna pass. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's that's probably weird now. <laughs> you're looking at my board. You're like, why is there a random gem there? Uh, you know, that's it's a thing. Uh, it's a I thing. Can, uh, it's a confusing thing, <laughs> but it's a thing. I mean, the Jehu, I could see it kind of, kind of making sense, kind of coming together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. All right. So no stars, no other souls. We got an upkeep trigger on good seed. All right, yeah. So I had take... like four triggers in the original rendition. I have like zero in this one. <laughs> you got storehouse at least. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take faith of Gideon from my reserve. Okay. And. Hmm. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of clay action 
You do have Pharaoh's daughter, which means you do have a Moses. Question is... Now, with what I have, it's one of two Moseses that I can think of you playing. All right. Um, hmm. Very interesting. I like how both of us are playing kind of hard to tell decks, like they're weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of... Kind of that's, what happens when you mess around a little bit, go go off yeah, meta. Yeah, that's what happens when you play a sort of meme kind of deck. Right, right. Uh, let's see. Just from harm. Um, no, I guess that doesn't really matter. All right, mm -hmm. I will go to battle. Okay, okay. And let's attack with Justin Martyr. And All righty. will not search once again. Okay, so I can go into my reserve now. Yep. I'm going to use Armor Bearer. Um, now, mathematically, that's... Just, okay, so we're going to equip Philistine Chariots from our reserve. Okay. And we're going to draw two. Yep. And then we're going to exchange to Commander Feichel from reserve. And okay. Commander Feichel is going to equip Philistine Chariots from reserve. Uh -huh. And then we're going to draw two. Uh, okay. And now we can ban to a Philistine except a king. There's a few ones. I'm going to ban to Goliath. He's going to negate the band and withdraw your hero CBN. Yep. And he also negates the draw two on Chariots. So at does least he? The... Oh, he does. So the... the... Second draw, I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 because it changed zones the first time around. Right. And equipping is not a playability, unfortunately. Right. So you're being withdrawn. You may present a new hero if you wish to. Um. <clears throat> I believe the negate is ongoing right now. Yeah, yeah. But I'll keep that in mind. Goliath does negate draws, so maybe I shouldn't end my band with him. Good to know. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, it might be, uh, it's, uh, or it's, yeah, probably come into play here and there. Okay. Uh, let's add Angel of the Winds. Okay, yeah. And I want to do this. I think I'll just, yeah, uh, make you play something here. Let's go to Moses the Deliverer. Okay. Yeah, that's the Moses I thought it would be. We'll negate your... Uh, I'll negate Commander Fikal. Cool, so, I get to put it back in my reserve, sweet. And then I will not be able to draw one, actually, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, the draw Darn. is being. Yep, because you negated the ban. Now you have six cards in hand instead of eight, so my humble isn't on, unfortunate. Okay, so if I do this, then you will have initiative, but I heavily doubt that it will matter. Hmm. That begs the question. Do I play that or that when i checked your hand you had blow lamb which means you do have a negate for this um yeah i dislike having to give up a soul so i feel like i am going to force you to play something all right um but that is going to negate my own chariots it looks like it does negate Fi call as well again, so the yeah the equip would be undone still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Let me think. No, because that draw would stay. That the original draw would stay. Never mind. Yeah. So it looks like your initiative it's mutual right now, and enhancements are being negated. Um, yep. 
Let's looks see. like that sounds right. Um, that I keep the draw because uh, we already established that the original draw can't be negated because it moved zones at that point. Right. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'll just pass. You're sure. Okay. Um. All right. So you, I know for a fact you have that. Yeah, we're gonna force you to do it. We're gonna play tenants. Um. And we're going to discard you, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, no, wait. I can't discard you because it's negated and I don't have a meek. No, uh, the evil enhancements still not. work because of bringing fear, or through bringing fear. Oh, it says good enhancements. Never mind. Yep. I did not think of that. Okay. Yeah, bringing fear is pretty good. Um, but yeah, so the ban, yeah, the ban would still be pre prevented, but you can still discard most. Yep. So, yep, you got one. All right. Yeah, let me just count some. Yeah, I don't love that I had to do that, but it is what it is. <laughs> yep, and I will then pass the turn. All right, draw for turn. Okay, pretty sweet things going on right now. I think what we'll do is, yeah, we're going to put down Music Leader. Wait, before we do that, upkeep face. We're going <laughs> to remember Storehouse. We always forget Storehouse here. It's the rule of thumb. Welcome to Redemption. <laughs> the number one. It, you know I how, remember like, your upkeep triggers. Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. That's that's the number one rule of Redemption. Don't remember Storehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, either Storehouse or Three Woes. You know, any of those yeah. upkeep triggers. Yeah. yeah, We're going to go get Faith Among Corruption off of Storehouse. All right. Then we're going to go... Uh, play music leader and i really want to do something but i know that i am currently incapable question <laughs> if i activate an artifact and then activate a different artifact will the original artifact still remain uh for the duration of whatever or will it only remain for the phase uh i'm not sure oh so like if you like Let's activate say an artifact, if you deactivate an artifact then its effect will end yeah. Yeah, let's say, I don't know, I activate Holy of Holies, and then I activate, like, I don't know, Honeypot via, say, Zada, or, sorry, the uh, the, the Pot of Mana over Holy of Holies um, via Zadok or something, for example. Holy of Holies, how long does that last? Um... Or does it just not work anymore as soon as uh, Pot of Mana hits the board? I think it would last through the phase, but it would last through see. the phase. Okay. I think so. There's. Let's see. No, that makes sense if it lasts through the phase. That that's what I thought it would do, because that just um minimally changes my playstyle. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Just uh changes like one card's activation. I think, which isn't bad. Uh, let's see. You asking in the main Discord? Uh, I was just looking at the REG. Oh. Just because okay. I'm not sure if there's a difference between like you deactivating the artifact by, um, by right, an right, ability right. that's activating different or another one, or like if I remove it. But I think it's still. I think we can yeah, play as if I, it stays the, throughout the phase. I would, yeah, I would be deactivating it in order to activate another one via ability. Yeah. I think that, I think it would stay through the phase. You can play okay, it that way. so it wouldn't, so like if it's an ongoing ability, it wouldn't last until its next activation, basically. It would only last for the phase. Okay, good to right, know. Yeah. That, yeah, that changes how I do things, so it's good to know that. Um, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do, I dislike that you have no characters because it means that I can't really effectively do my Jehu sword play. Because then I'd have to discard one of my own characters. Right. <laughs> it, which is inconvenient. The question is, do I think I could survive without doing that? Um, We're just going to put down Faith Among Corruption for now. It's going to chill there. All right. Um, And that begs the question, do I want to play this? It's a very, very tough question right now. Yeah, I feel like um, we're not going to. I'm just going to activate um, my own confusion of mind. Would you like to discard for it? No, nah, that's all right. Alrighty. I'm going to... I think I'm going to go... 
battle phase right now. Mm -hmm. Any dominance prehand? What's that? Any dominance pre rescue? Oh no no no, you're good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just to do it. Um. I'm gonna put in. We're gonna start with Hananiah. We'll do Hananiah's ability to search. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we're gonna grab J Sword. We're not gonna equip it. We're just gonna take it, just in case. Sure. And then we don't need to do that. We don't need to do any of that. Um. We could do that. But but but. We're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do David. David's going to band to, yeah, let's band to uh, Joshua. Joshua's not going to underdeck anything. He's going to exchange with Jehu. Jehu's going to exchange with Shem, mm -hmm. and that will be my rescue. All right, so you've got sling stones, no other protection or ongoing abilities. Got protected dudes in territory, I guess, and hand protection. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, let's do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to block with the Amalekite slave. Go ahead and and capture okay. over to you. That's fine. And. That's intriguing. Then. Could do it that way. Got seven in hand. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've got some CBP stuff. Which is sad for me, but it is what it is. Um, Not super inhibiting for me. Could do this. I'm not sure that I want to give you initiative, but I think it's the way mm -hmm. to, the right way to well actually no. You've got uh you've got that. And yeah, what's the worst mm -hmm. that can happen? Alright. Uh Dreaming Pharaoh. Okay, it's okay. gonna be who I get. Um, and he's gonna plop down a storehouse from my deck. Okay. So what's gonna happen is I am going to have two search triggers off of Music Leader. Yep. Um that begs the question, do I want to resolve them? Yeah, um, I'm going to resolve one trigger on Music Leader to deck. Okay. Um, and what we'll do off of that trigger is we're just going to go get um, Covenant with David. All right. Um, and then what we'll do is my initiative. Uh, yep. All right, I'm going to play Forgiveness of Joseph, negate that. Um, you don't have to underdeck because you do technically still have its protection, but it is going to go away. Yep. Um, and that will be your any at that point. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm going to play Mask of Fear. So I'm okay. Draw three. Got a wander of my own. And then play Enable Enhancement. Yep. Um, I will... Hmm. Yeah, maybe that would have been the better way to go. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going hmm. to... Uh, let's play... Do you think? Mm -hmm. <sighs> trying to trying to figure out how uh, how desperate I am here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did somehow get a block last turn, so I would be up in tempo. Yep. Yep. Is Which true. is, I I am dumbfounded by how I blocked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Um. All right, let's make you do something at least here. I will play Dou. Okay. Yeah. Um. The question is, which way do Pharaoh. I? 
Yeah, the question is which way do I want to um, negate that? Because that's really the question. It's not, am I going to negate it? It's which way am I going to? Right. Either way, my mask of fear is going to end up discarded. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to, I'm just going to faith among corruption. The DOU. Okay. And then DOU is discarded from that. So still your knee. Yep. Um. Yeah, I should have just. Should have played it the safer way, uh, but I think mm. that's okay. I think I'm going to just let Dreaming Pharaoh die then. All right. And let's give you the Wanderer. I'm gonna keep my keep my humble around if I can. Yeah, no, humble's definitely helping you out. Um, right now, this unfortunately, I will say you're making me use more resources than I would like to. <laughs> well, which is slightly I mean, annoying. As long as you're getting lost souls, I think that's uh, yeah, it's all right. True. Um, the question is, do we do it right now? Yeah, I mean, you know what? We're gonna. I have played TC, so we're gonna play nothing, and we're gonna pass turn. All right. Okay, I got my three. Uh, that doesn't do anything for me. Okay, uh, so no star abilities, no additional souls. Got good seed. I will. Um... I think it'd be really interesting if they made a card like your opponent can't block from hand, but it like started in reserve or something. Like some some drawback to make you unable to use it turn one. <laughs> or like, if an opponent controls an evil character, then they can't block from hand, and then you could theoretically use that with fools but you'd mm. have to fool one so eh. that would be interesting and then like you can combine that with like paralyze or something um yeah i mean if you play it in like goc deck then yeah you could probably combine that with uh with john right yeah um okay so i think so, yeah that'd be interesting um yeah. i think i'm going to take Hmm. Good seed. I think we'll take my. Uh, one, two. Can't. One, two. Hold on. I can hear you for like the last 30 seconds because my headphones decided to turn on. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. You're... Um, yeah, you're. Who cares? Two, three. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, I'm going to take my uh, grain offering with good seed. Okay. And then... Time for the mimicking grain. <laughs> time uh, to time to become sad. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, indeed. <clears throat> All right, and then... Something else that's making me sad is no lost souls to rescue, <laughs> other than humble. Because like, if I rescue humble, then you know there's nothing to get, which is annoying. Right. Because the question is, do I do I like try to draw son of god and son of god the humble, or do I do something else? <laughs> the annoying question. Right. Yep. Um. Well, that's uh, it's working out well for me at this point, so I'm glad for that. Yeah. Uh, for let's now. put down Ramses as a site. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, um, and I will. Uh, let's put down the murdering pharaoh. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Then you put that in there, and then bu, 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 bu. okay, that makes I'm sense. Play delivered. It's my territory okay. class enhancement. Yep, that's fine. And I will activate I... concealed riches. All right. Yeah, because music leader is just not going to do anything right now. Oh sure. Yep. Uh, so I get to put. Well, let's see. Let's figure out what all I want to take first. I think I mm -hmm. need. Um, let's do one, 
two, three, four. Um, all right, so I got to discard that first. Um, yeah. Uh, let's do. Imagine, bro, just takes his entire reserve and puts his entire hand into reserve. <laughs> you know, we're, we're kind of thinking about that. Uh, all right, so I think I'm just going to do four. Okay. And I'm going to put in one, two, three, and four, I guess. Okay, so mm. Simon's scary because that <laughs> means you have but Simon's actually not that bad. It, it's not great, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. Right, yeah. He, uh, you know, he's not as powerful as I'd like him to be. Not as exciting. Yeah, he's like not him. as powerful <laughs> when he's negated. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is sad. Um, I think go no, because Simon's just... dumb. Like, he... He ruled the GOC meta absolutely. Like he and uh, Matthew still does, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, Dex protected. But I can see why you put it in there. Yep. Stop uh, rescuing just... it. Otherwise, yeah. It make you attack with music leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. Imagine I actually attack and get a rescue with music leader. That would just be the <laughs> troll. That, of that would be something. It would be sad. That's what it would be. <laughs> um. All right. I will then go to battle. Okay. And let's see. Do, does he try to do the thing? That's the question. Does he does he do the thing? Well, actually, let's see. Uh, do we do the thing? That's it depends a, that's on a... what weapons you have in reserve, I guess. Before I go to battle, yep. I should put down a, a couple cards and actually make yep. sure that my humble is on because you're, you're at seven here. Yeah. Um. All right, then I will wander on into battle with Simon. I will choose your commander fight call. Oh wait. Oh no, I forgot to do the other part. <laughs> wait. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, one, one moment here. Uh, <laughs> one of a grain offering in my Ramses. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. And yeah, then... no, I'm I'm not gonna be like, oh, you already went into your battle phase. We're having fun here. I'm not gonna get on you about that. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, all right, so Simon's coming in. He's CVP because of Humble. I was like, oh, I need to, right. to get cards out of my hand. When I should. So the real question. The, thing. the real question. Do we? Do we do it? I, I don't know, man. Do do we do we do the thing? What's the thing? What are we doing? Um, you know what? I have a feeling I'm like 90% sure what I know you're going to do. I'm going to use Commander Ficall to discard Grain Offering. Um, hmm. Okay. You can discard a good enhancement. It doesn't say where. It could be held in something. That's true. That's, that is reasonable. And your initiative. All right. Uh, I'm going to play... AOC time? Uh, desperate times. I'm going to play Second Coming. <laughs> okay. Going to go to deck. That's, that's very... Okay, definitely AOC time. Um, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going to grab three woes. Okay, yeah, so we're woes and fight call, so that and way we can get back. We're woes offering. and fight call. Yep, woes, fight call, get back the offering. Okay, that's not bad. Yep. No, no, no that, that's, that's smart. But yeah, force it. the fact that you need second coming tells you how much you rely on having that. <laughs> it's uh, it it doesn't really do do the thing without it. So um, yeah, my initiative. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna play Faith of Gideon. I'm gonna okay. force two evil characters to fight, which will be my Pharaoh's Baker and, and Layback. My... Oh, or not? Feichel, oh, Feichel's gonna hang out. Okay. Um, so I will, uh, do Pharaoh's Baker, take an evil card with a capture ability from reserve. It takes okay. slave to Egypt. Okay. And then we'll discard him to add my Egyptian soothsayers from my reserve. 
Okay, and then under deck, Evil Exodus. Uh, which I do, n- do not have one in discard pile. So. Sad. All right. Uh, so my initiative. Or I guess um, you, you can ban to an, an evil, or you can ban to an antediluvian female if you've got one. There. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Um, I'm gonna pass Lamex initiative. All right. Sounds good. Uh. So my regular initiative then. Yep. I will play Slave to Egypt to discard the top three cards of your deck. Um. Oh. Lamech. Okay. Because last. It's CBN. Okay, smart. <laughs> so it makes them regardless of protect. Oh. Hey, thanks. I get a search. Got an outcry. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do we do it? Yes, we do it. I'm gonna put Cobra David back. Uh, in my deck. I know I don't have to, but I want to. Mm-hmm. Um. And you know what? That that. And, but the issue is that is not currently. I mean, I might as well. I'm gonna go get uh, servants of Akish. Okay. Um, and then it will still be your initiative. All right. Uh, I will play famished. We'll discard the top three cards of your deck. Okay. Wow. That's that's what we like to see. All right. Delilah, Glory, and Woes. All right, and then I get to play an enhancement, which will be Mimicking Miracles. I will copy Green Offering and bounce these three enhancements. Okay, um, all right, so... Yeah, let me just see if I have anything real quick. Um, because I know yeah, I... Now's did... the time. <laughs> um, let me just see something. Um, okay, so... Um, I'm just reading my cards real quick. Yep. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I don't think that Mimicking Miracles has any band draw or plays, I don't think, so. Correct. Uh, yeah. We're gonna... Okay, so if I do that, you're going to discard a grand total of my entire deck right now. Yeah, yep. that'll be 18 <laughs> cards, which means that I will not have a Son of God or anything to continue. Yeah, um, and negating a good enhancement, that won't negate... Um, the copy, correct, yeah. Yeah, because if you copy it, uh, I don't think negated is an ability... Which is annoying. Right. So. Yeah, okay. Um, And Lamech is CBN. Alright, yeah. Um, No, I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can do to get rid of what you're going for. Um, This is Heroes. Yeah, I mean, so, nope, because I can't do that, because that's that. Um, what about this? What does this do? I, yeah, no. I'm just going to discard my entire deck. <laughs> Fair enough. If you if you want, we could, uh, we could work together if you, what do you got, like a Warrior Overtaken or something that? Uh, no, because that's the thing is I have Warrior Overtaken, but I don't have anything in my deck that's going to stop you. I just checked. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and then the rest of my deck goes to my discard pyre as well. Um, right. I have this, but it's put in play, not drawn. All right. So yeah, just to, to go through the motions, I'm playing each do of that. these four times. Um, yep. so I think the... Th- back 18 cards. Yeah. And then uh, I think the last time I'm going to use Mimicking Miracles to oh. bounce my... Um, Bounce my Soothsayers, my Slave uh, to Egypt, and my Mimicking Miracles. So then Famish uh, will end up being discarded. Lamech will go back to territory. And it'll still be your initiative. And yeah, we're back here with Simon. Um, I think just to... 
try to get somewhere here. Uh, I am going to reserve my good seed. Have my okay. Justin Martyr to battle. So my humble right. is still active, so then Justin Martyr will go and get my Blood of the Lamb from reserve. Okay. Uh, then it'll be mining. Yep. Um, I just realized that you have discarded all of my enhancements. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, we that got. Begs the we got the we, we got it and the second coming. Yeah. If I do this, does it say? Yeah, it does. So I can't discard my own heroes because they're protected from it as well. All right. Yep. Oh sure. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Yep. The warrior overtaken has to hit somebody in territory. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Uh, All right. Well, I mean, the good news is is that you've still got a pretty good like setup of heroes and territory, so I still have to figure out ways to block yeah. here. Um, but fortunately for me, I have a little bit more time. Uh, I will go ahead and pass the turn. All right. I'll draw zero. Mm -hmm. Um, upkeep phase. I guess I'll take. Uh, yeah. Well, knowing what you do, you do have that. I'm gonna take. Uh, Royal Parade for my reserve, I think. Okay. And then, is there a way to take a hero from my discard pile right now? That's the question. Um, Doesn't look like it right now. I will say, not having even Son of God is sad, because <laughs> the fact that you can literally discard 24 cards from my deck is crazy. <laughs> that was... So, like, last week I was like, all right, let's just build a mill deck, see what we can do, you know, how many cards I can hit. Got up to, like, 17 during the game, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. We can just do Conceal the Riches yeah. in this combo and try to hit 24 in one one battle. It seems seems better. Yeah, and, it uh, seems, seems like it works. Yeah, and, uh, the, the Lamech was actually a pretty last-minute addition, but I'm glad that I yeah. thought of that because... I don't know. Now, yeah. that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering like if using my shipwreck on the Ashkelon was the right move, or if I should have just taken the hit. But yeah, because the thing with uh, Lamech is that um, the fact that he's CBN was the thing. Like if I if I had a way, I didn't. But if I had a way, like just literally some kind of negate a card, evil character, right. then like yeah, that whole combo would have been done because I would have <laughs> just negated the ROP. Right. But no. Yeah. ROP is CBN for some reason, which is yeah. sad. Well, even that, I think, even if it he wasn't have CBN, ROP is not a fire. yeah, you're right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that begs the question. Well, I mean, at least you have that, which is slightly better. Um. So okay, woes is good. All right. So mathematically, if I do that first, yeah, no. Um, okay, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. So, for prep, I'm going to exchange Wanderer for your um Humble first. Okay. So that way you don't have CBP on thing. I mean, CBP doesn't matter anymore because uh Noah is not here. So, <laughs> that's the unfortunate bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, what we'll do, I guess, is... Yeah. I think we have to do it this way. I'm going to equip Jehu's sword onto King Jehu. And, uh... Yep. Oh, hey! Did you know that uh, Murdering Pharaoh is royal? <laughs> I did. I did happen to, to think about that. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll do... We'll do Hananiah. I'm not going to take or equip a weapon from my zero-card deck. Fair enough. We're going to ban to... Joshua. Yep. Yeah, so I would like you to put Ramses at the bottom of your deck, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. You want access and, or something, and, and, you know, gets rid of my great offering, too. Yep, and then I will exchange to that. He is going to band to this, and mm -hmm. I am going to exchange to Shem. Um... Of course, the wet. 
uh, Jehu's ability will resolve first. You have to discard an evil card from hand or territory, as well so, as I'm discarding a uh, murdering pharaoh off of the exchange. So I believe the so the Jehu sword would go first. So you would um, discard wouldn't an evil human. The hero ability first? Wouldn't the hero ability resolve before Jehu sword? Um, not be, or because the because the hero ability is like adding another character to battle, then the weapon goes first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because that's my uh, you know how like you can play a weapon and then like the band I think would resolve before the weapon resolves because it's part of the hero's ability before the weapon can activate. It's weird, it's, but it's, that's how I feel. It's the should. opposite of that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the weapon like would go before a band or exchange, yeah. so it goes. I feel like it shouldn't work that way, but that's fine. Um, I guess yeah, we'll discard Lemek first. Okay, uh, so I get to discard a card of match brigade from territory or reserve. Yep. Um, which I guess yeah, it just makes sense for me to discard my murdering pharaoh instead. Oh, by the way, Since uh, that's this gonna one's happen either way doing nothing because I didn't reactivate it. So we'll just say I deactivated it. Um. Oh well. I mean, if you if you nah, leave I'm, it active, nah, then you could still. No, nah, because uh, it would re-trigger, and you'd have the opportunity to discard it, uh, discard for it first. And I never presented that opportunity, so it would not be active. Um. Sure. I guess uh, that kind of yeah. makes sense. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I guess. I mean, I, the way I think I would I'm play activated. it is that. Yeah. Every time it activates, uh, uh you have the option to. Because um, the artifact has to reactivate every turn. Right. Yeah. That's just how artifacts work is that they go until the next prep phase and then you have to reactivate them. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just thinking, like, I mean, if you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on how you want to play it. Like, so, uh, if you yeah, want no, to just go I, back and be like. No, I'm. I'm midway through the battle phase in and of itself, and I've already done, um, like I, I'm already midway through the battle phase for right. one, and for, I just missed it. So yeah. I'll learn. I'll remember to re-announce COM next time. All right, fair that enough. That said, you are still being forced to discard an evil card from hand or territory. Okay, so yeah, so Jehu's sword is resolved. So then, then Shem would go. Uh, um, wait, and... why would Jehu or Shem would go? So, or because Shem resolves as part of Jehu's exchange. Okay, yeah. So uh, then you must discard evil card from hand or territory. Yep. Which, Since yeah, it's, it's, cards and you have one. it's the same thing for yeah, Jehu and Shem yep. anyway. So, um, yeah, the, the, the activation order is really weird with exchange. Good to know. Yeah, pretty much. Um, all right, so let's do... Uh, Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter too much here. Let's just discard yeah. Lamech, and then, and then Jehu makes me discard another territory. one. Yep. Um, I will just discard my Mickey Miracles. All right, so it'll be your block. All right. Uh, we'll block with Egyptian Soothsayers. We'll underdeck my Mickey Miracles. Yep. And then I'll ask for initiative. Um, looking at my cards, yeah, you'll have it. Okay, uh, I'll try to capture all your dudes. I'm going. Oh, I'm an SI. Yep. Oh, uh, I would like it if you don't do that. Yep, uh, that's fair, understandable. Uh, see so yeah, how he bounced. That's discarded, and you get the soul. All right. <clears throat> now, that begs the question. Am how good am I at the game? <laughs> uh, um, dang good question. All right, you know what? Uh, I think that's fine. Does this say? Oh, okay. I think I you do have Son of God, which means you're still plus one in tempo right now. Uh, but it evens out to zero in tempo because I'm winning right now. Okay, so your turn. All I need mathematically would be. One block, I think. Right, because uh, no, I'm thinking. If I if I get through I mean, my thirty six no cards and find both, my, well, I already played Second Coming. Yeah. So yeah, I, it's, I'm already uh, passing turn. We'll so see. mathematically, it's still your turn. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm just. I just give me a second to think. Like, go through your stuff, but I'm still thinking. 
Oh, are you are you planning to do anything else or? No, 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 no. I'm just oh, thinking. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh... So. I'm just thinking of the conditions of my victory right now. Not that I need to win. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. And I'm still thinking. Fair enough. My... So All let's right. see here. Well, I'm, That's... uh, I didn't draw any lost souls. Uh, Go to my upkeep. I sense. will. Uh, my good three woes. Uh, there's not really anything worth negating here. Yeah, I mean, negate Egypt. It's a neutral card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I should have. Uh... I will say that I probably should have stolen your humble fart earlier, but. It wouldn't have made any difference because I wasn't really preventing anything in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I probably could have played that a little differently, but all right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll just target your Egypt, I guess. And yes. then mm -hmm. I will. I believe. Um... Okay, I yeah, know. All of my abilities right now are currently. With the exception of Humble, which is a modifier, they are currently instant abilities, all of them. So right. that does that is sad. Yep. Um all right. Well I will just go to battle, I suppose. Okay. And we'll attack with a suggested martyr. Okay. And uh no search. Okay, so you have that in your hand. I don't have enhancements. I could do this. So, Matt, I think what we do is if I do that. The question is, do I go for numbers first? Yeah, I'm going to do Philistine Commander. She's going to withdraw nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ban two Servants of Akish and withdraw you CBN unless you top deck a clay or white card from your hand. Um, yep, because the king is in play. Uh, sure, that'll work. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. All right, uh, I will pass the turn. All right, my turn. Draw zero for turn. Upkeep. I will take Word of Christ for my reserve. All right. Uh, then... has to be an OT enhancement, right? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. My bad. Can't take that. You're correct. Um, yeah, might as well. I'm going to take Lord Provides instead. Okay. Um, okay, so if I do that... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. That's negating Egypt. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn on Confusion of Mind. Would you like to discard for it? No, that's all right. All right, I'm going to go into Combat, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go... We're going to go Hananiah. Hananiah bans to Joshua. He will underdeck nothing. Yep. Um, and then ban to David. Yep. Or sorry, exchange to David. So, do I do this? No. I'll just ban to um, Jehu. Uh, Jehu is going to exchange with... Jafeth, uh, and Jehu's sword requires me to discard an evil human. I discard Philistine commanders. Yep. Um, or I can uh, choose to discard a matching card from territory reserve instead, because technically it wouldn't be. I think actually I I have that decision. <laughs> I will choose not to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't mind. Um, well, it would be active player. So oh, oh, it's any player. player. Okay, so yeah, you any, can do it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I I will choose not to discard okay. from reserve because that one's not doing anything and then i'll be exchanging to shem shem will not do anything because uh i i have more evil cards than you do right. and then you will be forced to discard evil card from hand or territory yep. which will be because obviously i'm not in territory mm -hmm. fair enough um let's do I'll throw away my Egyptian soothsayers. All right, no block. Um, trying to decide if I want to block here. Mm -hmm. uh, figure out if I can get some damage in somehow. You have a way to negate things. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to block with... Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. You still got that, too. Hmm. Mm. All right, never mind. No block. Bide my time. Alrighty. Hope for the best. All so right, I, I will... 15 minutes left pass my the, turn. on the timer yep. here. Yeah, and I believe you went first, so I will have last turn. Yep. Uh, I've got a darkness. So you do get a search. I if you want. So to. choose. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Evil character sounds kind of good right about now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it does. It does. But I don't like your your music leader triggers. Mm -hmm. Um. But I think. That's worth it. Uh, yeah, let's do... Um, no, I should thin up my deck, I suppose. Yeah. Let's go to deck. I will go mm -hmm. and get... Uh, I'll put him in here, right? Yeah, let's get the Deceiver. Okay. So, yep, that will, in fact, be a Music Leader trigger. Yep. So, let's get back, Royal Parade, and... Question is, do I want Cobra David? Does it matter? I mean, it's not going to get me anything, all things considered, so do I just get it? I mean, nah. Nah, because I have I, I have your Humble right now, so I'll just keep it to a minimum and get that Royal Parade. Yep, fair enough. Um, okay. Not having Word of Christ is slightly depressing, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so Servants doesn't withdraw meek heroes, so there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess I have to go in that way. Where did I uh, do that? Um, so my woes, I guess, will use CBN. That's CBN, so woes stays on Egypt, I guess. All and right. then I will. Um, Jam is currently negated, so that is something to be thinking about. What's currently negated? Um, Jam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's just do this. Let's play Lost Child Found. Okay. Bounce up to three other cards. We're going to do Storehouse, Noah's Ark, and um, let's do Music Leader. Okay. So I guess the... Yeah. I mean, it would still be all... Wouldn't, wouldn't be harm. Yeah. For Ark. Um, yeah, no, because it would be the same um, alignment. Yeah. And then I will go to battle. Okay. And I'm going to attack with St. Simon. Okay. Okay, I get why. Because, um, except a meek hero. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, the question is, do I go for this right now? Or do I hold my horses a little? <laughs> so which characters could I work with? Well, that's not going to help me because you have enhancements and I don't. So that one wouldn't be beneficial. This one's kind of doing some work. This one is helpful. So I think the one I'd go for would be, at best, this one. Um, Just because of that. But... I don't think I need that right now. So what we'll do instead is I'm going to do Goliath. Fair enough. So draw you CBN. You may present a new hero. You did find Goliath, huh? Um, yeah. Sure. We'll uh, present a Justin Martyr. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not doing anything. Managed to then. Yep. 
Uh, let's play Covenant with David. Go play a site from my or site or good fortress, I guess, from my deck here. Okay. Um, oh, I know. Let's do play Egypt. Okay, Egypt yeah. is gonna search for storehouse. Okay. And that'll be in your hand. Yep. Alright, so looking at that, uh it would be my knee at this point. Yep. Um and would I be killing you? Uh I'm gonna pass and let mutual happen for now. Um, uh would yep. you like to accept that that's fine with me. I will pass. All right, so we'll both die. Yep. And then Dominique? Um, well, if you're passing, then that's battle resolution. Oh, is it? Uh, if okay. Yeah. If you if you pass to let us both die, I mean, we can you can still play something after or before. Okay. We we resolve if you want. Okay. No, so I was thinking, oh, I kill your hero and then I play warrior overtaken, and then you don't have a hero. Oh, so yeah. that would have been intelligent, but that's <laughs> obviously not the correct play. Doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, you'd have to unfortunately play it first. Yeah. Okay. So the question is, how valuable is the block right now? I kind of like Goliath, but there is obviously the chance that it doesn't work. So yeah, I mean, do I go for this? It's the question. Yeah. I think we do. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask for dominant initiative. You got it. I'm going to use warrior overtaken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take armor bearer from reserve. Yep. And I am going to discard mighty men to add armor bearer to battle. I'm okay. going to not take a weapon and I'm going to exchange him with Commander Fycall in discard file. Alright. So Commander Fycall is going to negate actually no, it's going to discard your Covenant with David. Sure. And then I can ban to a Philistine, so I'll ban to Serpent the Fakish and withdraw you unless you want the top deck. So uh, nope, that's alright. I will let him be withdrawn. Okay. Um, all right, I will put down storehouse. Okay. And I think I'll do this now. Son of God? Um, uh, nah. Well, actually, no, I will, uh, I'm going to pass the turn. All right, draw for turn. I and can't draw. Upkeep and a mess for dominant initiative. Uh, yep, that's fine. All right, uh, play Vain Philosophy, take a peek at your hand. Okay. Uh, all right, so we got a Deceiver, or provide Solomon's Dream, or Upgrade. Mm-hmm. Okay, not worried about that. Begs the question. <laughs> yep, do that. Um, Let's just under deck your storehouse. Get her to okay. Stave off your resources a little longer here. And then I will also play Murderous Command. I'm going to take an Egyptian from my uh, stew. I guess I should have looked at my reserve first. Um, let's just do from my uh, reserve here. Okay. Grab Egyptian Horseman. All right. And I will discard your David. Um. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So ah, uh, because I don't have that right now. Smart. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go. Retrigger Confusion Mind. You're not allowed to discard because storehouse. Yep. I'm going to play Music Leader. I'm going to play Arc of Salvation. And then how much can I go for a game right now? 
this is mandatory. I kind of don't want to do that. So among these, um, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, this is absolute insanity, actually. Um, so that'd be fine. Okay, I'm gonna rescue with Jehu, mm -hmm. and then I will be, um, discarding Serpents of Akish or targeting Akish. I'm gonna discard Chariots from Reserve. Okay. And then I will not use Jehu's in exchange. Um, you don't have to discard anything because you don't have anything in territory and your hand's protected. You're yep. locked. Uh, okay, so you've got the rope raid, you've got the... Yeah, very, very interesting rescue right now. This is <laughs> not one that you see every day, that's for sure. Yeah. Um. Not um, having Son of God is sad. <laughs> Alright, so Jehu um, right now is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, five. 7, 7, 6. Oh, yeah. Oh, matching alignment in With, play. Uh, yeah, so it's 7, 7. Never mind. 11, Plus 8. Four, two. So 11, 8. Yep. Huh. Um, oh, your block. Yeah, this would be, be better if I had other things. Uh, let's go with the Deceiver. Okay. Exchange to deck. Random question. Do musicians involve music? Um, yes. Okay. Um, that's right. Yeah, you got. You suppose you can get David back that way. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't get sling stones back, which is obviously something that would benefit you. <laughs> yeah. Less negates that I have to use. All right. This is at least a few cards. I feel like that's worth it right now. Uh, so let's do yep. damsel while your hand's not protected. Yep. Reveal your hand. So that would and be. We get one, right, two, three, four, four, five. One, two, three. Yep. Draw five. Got a okay. doll. And that is uh, that is it for that. So that you're you lucky. I hate <laughs> how lucky you getting doll right now. <laughs> Yeah. Would I you like to, to music it. leader? <laughs> yeah, I have to give you the doll trigger. I'm going to get back that, and I'm going to get back that. Okay. Uh, so you're just, just one trigger, though, for both cards, right? So. Yeah. Um, all right, well, I will use doll. And I will... Mm. I mean, there is, I think, a obvious option, but... I don't think uh, because you don't have the correct card for it right now. Let's do. Hmm. Um. Yeah, you got one too many uh, things. I think maybe I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, let's do confusion. All right. Um, Would you like to trigger music okay. leader? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see. Yeah, no, I have to let you have initiative right now. All right. Uh, play uh, confusion. Yep, uh, pretty obvious discard answer. Discard a card from your hand. Yep. Now let's do... The Lord provides. Get that out of the way. Yeah. Alright, so still your knee. Um, I will... Uh, what are the numbers on that? That'll put us in mutual. Alright, uh, uh, let's play... They're making miracles... Yep. And copy the special ability on confusion uh, to discard yeah, Royal Parade. Okay. Like I already knew. <laughs> you know, options were 
We're limited. Yeah. Uh, okay. and Unfortunately, then... I cannot do anything about that. It will be mutual. Uh, I'm going to pass my mutual. What about you? Uh, let's see. Yeah, because you're still... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're still at 11. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I will have to pass as well. All right, yeah, because I don't, I don't mind losing Jehu in the grand scheme of things. Because now he just doesn't do anything. Right. At this point, he's not doing anything. So I'm gonna play David, and then I'm also going to play Cub with David, and I'm gonna get that and play it. All right. And... Um. And I think yeah. this will be last After. round, assuming you're done here. Yep. I'm done right now. Last round. Sounds good. All right. Uh, draw my three. Yes, that begs the question. I know it's not... Okay, so that begs the question. Does... It depends on what cards you draw. Because if you have Eternal Inheritance, then theoretically you can win. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's either a 4-4 four, four, uh, four, four tie or a 5-4 for me. Theoretically. That, that's what I'm assuming. Unless you just don't have any ways to Son of God. In which case, it's 3-4 or 5-3. Um, or 5-4. Yeah. Yeah, we'll four. see. So, the, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. There's a lot of possibilities. <laughs> but... Alright, so I'll keep... From anywhere from... Uh, 5-4 to 3-4. Uh, upkeep, um, woes will negate your fi call. Makes sense. Uh, storehouse, I will take... Mm, Pharaoh's Curse. Yeah, okay. Mm. A lot then... of interesting... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate Pharaoh's Curse. We'll underdeck it to underdeck your storehouse. Yeah, I figure. Uh, the funny thing uh, about it is that you keep underdecking storehouse, and I have an enhancement that does nothing <laughs> in my reserve, and I can't search anything else. <laughs> well, it's more of the protection thing that's a little... Uh, yeah. Not ideal. What, what are you? What am I protecting? My deck? I, I have zero cards. <laughs> your, your hand. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. all right, let's put down Ramsey's as a site. Yep. That begs the um, question, does he have the other one? <laughs> uh, we'll put down Wait shield. Yeah, okay. So no searching, basically. Yeah, probably not. Um. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess we'll put down Pharaoh's Daughter. Let's put down Egyptian Magicians. There's the evil card. There he is. Uh, I'll put down Conjurers. Uh, he's getting his hand down. Uh, trying yeah. to, trying to only have one card in his hand if he can. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get yeah. that far. So um, yeah. I guess I will put Dull into Egypt. And then I'll okay. go to battle. All right. Uh, let's do. Oh, that's right. Now oh, you still got that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess that doesn't work out quite as well as I wanted to, but uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll attack with a Meek Matthew. Meek Matthew, huh? Meek Matt. All right. So that immediately means one thing and one thing only. Which is you're trying to do this. So the issue is I can't just do that and I can't just do this. So I don't know what you're yeah. about. <laughs> I mean, there is only one option, and it's kind of a forced option. So you know what? Yeah, I mean if you do that, then you have that, but that's um that because of that. So basically, you just do that or this, but that's less good. 
Yeah, we just Goliath. All right. Uh, so Goliath. CBM will draw you and you out territory. Um. Justin Martyr is currently negated. Yep, he's still coming in. Yeah, I know what you're gonna play, but I um. was like, you know what? I'm gonna force you to do it anyway <laughs> because I can. All right. Well, uh, knowing you've got limited uh, stuff in yep. hand, there I'm gonna play Blood of the Lamb. Get yep. up to nine. And I'll play Plague of Hail, which will yep. I guess negate music leader and discard your uh fight call. Yep, okay. Yep, so that'll work. I just wanted to force you to do it. I'm gonna give you Hopper. Alright. And Son then, of God. I don't have to play anything yet here. You still still got you right. still got a turn. So uh All right. All right. You can go. All right, draw for turn. Um, and we ran out of time, correct? Yep, this is the last turn. I'm gonna end my turn for game. Uh, dominant initiative. I don't think you can do that if the turn slash game is already over. I mean, you can't. You can't I mean, just progress won't. through all the phases without letting me play a dominant. So, if you. I mean, the game's already over, but fine. Uh, no, like, just like you, you can't go to battle. Dominant, just, just like you can't go to battle without letting me play yeah. a dominant or something. So, yeah. like, basically, you, yeah, have if to, you, want, you have to decide if you want dominant, now. Let you do it. If you want dominant initiative, then you can, because I can't play anything. So you're just gonna you're you're not gonna come into battle at all. Um, no, I'm just gonna remain in my draw phase since technically you could have asked for dominant initiative at any time any phase right so so we'll you're draw phase. you ask for dominant initiative i say yeah okay i'm gonna pass on domination your draw phase <laughs> okay so upkeep prep whatever because you're not gonna play those i am gonna go battle phase then okay um yeah i mean so mathematically Mathematically speaking, I can do that and then do that. The question is, you have both of that at that point. You have three cards in your hand. I really wish I could see what's in your hand. <laughs> Can't force you to get rid of anything from your hand. You do have reserve plays, but if that, then that. So, wait a minute. This is... Am I? I'm stupid. I just. Joshua, on the deck shield. And I, and I advance to David. Uh, okay. <clears throat> block. Uh, let's block with Egyptian horseman. I will draw two. Okay, Ernie. Uh, got a crumbled. I will okay, under deck a card to draw one. Okay, um, that's gonna trigger music leader because you just drew. Yep. I'm gonna get back rope parade, and I'm gonna get back this. Okay. Uh, Still we'll kidding. trigger doll then. Yep. Uh, let's do. <laughs> Right now, having Mighty Man Take probably would have been better. Would have, yeah, negated Dull at that point, but yeah. Oh, um, sure. so yeah. you're a knee. Um, Alright, I will play Better to be Slaves, try to capture Hananiah and David and Servants of Akish. Yep, uh, so now I'm in Special Initiative. Um, yep, and you play that thing. Play back to go that. back. Yep, negate Royal yep. Parade. Alright. And then... Unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything about that, so I will be captured. Okay. And then I will move... And then into... I get to draw three with Better to be Slaves, because you have four in hand. Uh, yep. 
and uh, shepherds I will yeah send this to the bottom draw one all right yep then basically and then I'll ask for Dominish. Um, yeah you're gonna play son of God and that'll be game I'll play crowd's choice to get son of God and go get son of God play that <laughs> all right so four four tie Wow, that was <laughs> that, was that was something. A, so yeah, that was a good game. It was I, a really good game. Yeah, I <clears throat> I, I really messed up though because I so when I when I I did the side battle, I did the combo stuff, and I used the good seed to add Justin Martyr. I think that was just a little bit too greedy. I was hoping oh. that I would be able to find a my like send the helper oh. or something to grab oh, Angel yeah. Party out of my reserve. But if That's I had just it. waited. Then uh, yeah. would have just angel party and and just wait for. Or, I, I think it would have been exactly three turns. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, or maybe or four, I guess, because yeah, I don't know if I would have yeah. gotten son of god or not, but because um, it would have been the turn yeah. after, so maybe it would have been three. But. Yeah, so you probably would have won that way. Yeah, um, I think, oh, man, it, I, I, I should have gone for it though have, because like. Yeah. It would have been much have, cooler. <laughs> uh, gone for um, armor bearer to five hold this card angel party as soon as possible if I saw that. Yeah, well, I think I think if I land angel party, then I'm not attacking for the rest of the game. I think that's probably especially because I know yeah. you you run five call, but it kind of depends on what I think yeah. you have in your hand because I wasn't sure that you had yeah too much stuff left, but <clears throat> I suppose I knew you at least had warrior overtaken. So yeah, no, because that that uh the the grain just really killed me because um this is some i think you probably may or may not have gathered but what this deck is supposed to be is ot red x flood survivors ot is, red x flood survivors oh which like, is like cross with yeah. flood survivors yeah, yeah yeah it is very strange but it works right because think about this i have the um, so you Jehu I'm going, to Noah. I'm Zadok serve with um, Oath of Purity and Book. So what the okay. deck wants to do is, or what it's supposed to mechanically be built to do, is it's supposed to basically use David. Like, use Hananiah, get my weapons, and then I do David. He has Sling Stone, so that's in a gate. Um, then do Jehu plus Jehu's sword, which is going to deprive you of technically minus three. If you're playing Royal Humans, minus two if you're not. Um, and then I can band uh, or whatever, because I'd be bouncing Noah with this. Um, blah, 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 blah. i exchange this for like Zadok or Mighty Man. And then I would band to Noah. Noah would band to CVP Shem because Noah's wife and yep. CVP Jepeth. And uh, negate one of your evil cards via Noah's wife. And be preventing everything, shuffling a card, and then I would have Goshen tossing things. So basically, just a lot of good stuff in the mix. That uh, um, it's it seems I, convoluted, but I do. I mean, it, it does look like it actually yeah. like isn't Works. that hard to assemble. Yeah, and then I could do like Israel's bow to bounce Jehu, play him as evil, use him with the Philistines, because at that point, Athlon would have already done what I wanted it to do. And then I can just use Oath of Purity, which I play off of Book from Reserve off Zadok, which is searchable off of David, and yep. then just put Jehu and say no back into my hand. I can just keep pounding you with absolute resource deprivation while negating everything off of Noah, or sorry, preventing everything off of Noah and tossing everything off of Goshen, which right. seems good while I stack my, you know, recurrable negates. Yeah. Um, and stuff. Yeah, no, because the issue was I, like, couldn't access half of my cards because my deck was just gone. So, like, the entire, like, 50% of what this deck was supposed to do just in the discard pile. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's... That was kind of the goal, I guess, with the combo, is literally putting 50% of their deck in the discard pile, but... <laughs> yeah, because, um, I mean, I feel like if I had, like, one or two more turns without, you know, having to get grained... I probably yeah. been able to just pull off everything I wanted to, but that the exact moment I will say forcing you to do second coming to do it is probably what helped me not lose instantly. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I think definitely hitting 
uh, Feichel Green was probably the highlight. <laughs> yeah, I did, the game. I did not see that coming, and I, I panicked for a minute there, and I was like, oh, no, wait, no, okay, I can I can you get can out of this with, uh, with <clears throat> yeah. second coming, but it's going to be painful. Yeah. Um, I think what I should have done instead was use uh, second, com- second coming to crowd's choice to yeah. uh, get Blood of the Lamb out of my reserve, because then yeah. I could have negated... If I called that way and then gotten a draw three as, as yeah. well, just because I was so <clears throat> short on resources there that even <laughs> taking everything out of your deck, like I mean, you were still able to get rescues. Uh, yeah, just because I was Cause the deck resource is just deprived. Very persistent. Yeah, because the thing about the deck is that it's just value, value, value on offense and just resources getting plowed in is just kind of what the deck's supposed to do while playing. Because essentially, I don't know uh, if you recall, but I did play a similar deck. Um, I mentioned that I had a deck that centered around Noah back in like 2022 regionals that I did well with. So okay. this deck was kind of aiming to replicate that. Obviously, I was, I'm was i not playing Sadducees anymore. Sure. Um, I figured the Philistines. So the thing about the Philistines is as I was, I'm actually not very familiar with them. Like, I was kind of playing it. I just gambled. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because Armor Bearer into Fight Cold play two chariots is funny. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Which I got. Okay. So I think I got to showcase most of what the deck does, which is kind of what the goal was have fun. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think that, uh, I mean, definitely some some fun was had by your offense here. And I was a little. Uh, that, I'm kicking myself a little bit about that uh, Pharaoh, uh, Dreaming Pharaoh block and giving you initiative there. Yeah. Because what I, what I, I mean, it would have been really expensive, but what I could have done instead was <clears throat> uh, using either uh, Murdering Pharaoh or Egyptian right. Horseman and grabbing, um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called, the Curse. Pharaoh's Curse from Reserve. Oh, uh, yeah. Take out your uh, either your Sling Stones or your Faith Among Corruption. Okay. And then I had, I probably... I had D.O.U. and uh, Pharaoh's Dream. So I was like, you can you can stop one of them, but then the other one's going to go through. Yeah. But since you had I... both of those there, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> it's like yeah. I had two chump blocks. Or like the, the first turn, I had the one chump block, which is D.O.U., then you had sling stones. I was like, all right, well, that's not going to work. And then yeah. the second turn, I had two, but then you you had faith among corruption. Yeah. Was... I mean, I just think I misplayed royally during that game too. You know what I should have done instead of letting Jehu die, I should have played like Solomon's Dreamer, Cavu David, because Cavu David was doing nothing, and I should have just played it for numbers. Oh yeah, uh, I, I think Covenant... we're going to try and for enhancement. I think Solomon's Dream would have given you enough. I don't know if Covenant with David would have, but yeah. No, because you were exactly eleven offense at that point. So, or I was, sorry, you I was ten offense, and you were eight defense. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think. So I think. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Never mind then. Yeah, so all the dream would have been the correct play. But... but yeah, dream wasn't doing much else for you, so that would have been good. But... Yeah. No, I, that's kind of was like ah, I should have done that, but forty-one cards in my discard pile. Ridiculous. <laughs> Never again will you see chat or not chat because this wasn't live but like <laughs> you know, um people who watch this video never again will you see a 41 discard <laughs> game <laughs> that was yeah uh, i mean the the combo did its thing i think the rest of the deck i, I just needed to play it a little better with angel party <laughs> yeah uh yeah and like i mean there's the fact that you didn't draw a son of God or second coming yeah. obviously also uh, was was, was good for me because otherwise yeah. you would have won like you know five one or two. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I think I think this was a really good game though. Yeah, I, it was fun. One of the games of all time. This is what happens when you play with decks that are meant for like fun. <laughs> Meme decks. It, yeah. Yeah, I came I came in with the uh I came in with the objective of having as fun of a game as possible and uh yeah, I think uh, I think I accomplished that. <laughs> I think we got well. there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good. I was I was a little bit worried that the combo would stop you from, you know, doing whatever you wanted to do with your deck, but I feel like you still at least got 
yeah. part of it off, you know, kind of popped yeah, off at the beginning. It with... didn't let me do Noah, which was sad because Noah's my favorite card, and the entire point of this deck is to make <laughs> Noah as stupidly strong as powerful. Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, or possible. Why can't I speak? I said powerful, not possible. You know what I meant. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, well, I was a little bit, like, a, a little bit yeah. sad. I had 20 shekels sitting here the entire game, and it didn't do anything for me because he had storehouse right away then you had noah's ark right away so i was yeah. like well i can't bounce his stuff i can't look at his hand and uh yeah. matthew's not going to do anything for me but otherwise noah and matthew and 20 shekels would have gone together just fine for me so <laughs> yeah <laughs> would have liked that I but that, uh, yeah i think that was a good game yeah. either way i i you have no idea how proud of myself i am for like wait i can just discard grain with uh feichel what am yeah, I doing? <laughs> that was that was good. Like I, I didn't even think about that. So that was. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I think I've gotten a lot better since the last time we because we haven't played in a while. It's been a minute. Yeah, I, mean, I think we were yeah. in like a, a, a few lucky Grand Prix ago. Probably last but, time. You we know played. what, Jaden, I, I have the perfect name for this episode. I know. <laughs> no wins games. Mill no, wins games. Uh, <laughs> Because well, it's the inside joke with me. But it, but it, <laughs> that's the funny part is that I have the inside joke that Mill wins games, and then you play the Mill deck against me. <laughs> that's hilarious. But the perfect title. But I didn't win though. <laughs> you but, tied. Well, yeah. I suppose I, I shouldn't count that as a win because I definitely don't think I yeah. I earned the win good. there at the end. <laughs> I mean, both of us won in every way possible. A tie counts as both players winning, technically. And, uh, I mean, both of us came in with the objective of having a ton of fun, and we won at that, so. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. And, uh, and made some good content that hopefully yeah. people will enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> and making, of course, a callback reference title. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, um, we'll see. We'll, you know, maybe... Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, maybe reference it at least, in the, uh, yeah. at least in the intro. But... Yeah, at least in the... Yeah, this is the Millwind... Yeah, <laughs> or something. <laughs> like mimicking grain combo. Yeah, <laughs> once. Exactly. Uh... Yeah, the fact I still find it hilarious that, like, you played a mill deck against the mill wins games. Because <laughs> let's be honest, that's just who I am on your channel. At this point. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess just yeah. for just for backstory, in case anyone anyone yeah. isn't aware, the very first time that the two of us played, uh. You were or you were still like relatively new. I had yeah. I had decked out. I was kind of like well ahead in the game. Just had like a whole bunch of card advantage. I don't know. I was probably playing something <laughs> something dumb like you know, yeah. disciples or whatever. Yeah, I ran out of cards, four. and you were like, yeah. "Okay, GG." And I was like, "Yeah, because oh. I thought I won." Yeah, I, I was like, Yu-Gi-Oh. And then and here I, I am, like, "Oh, you're you're giving up?" Game. Like, it's <laughs> so, like, don't no, just I quit, thought, man. We can keep playing it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you DM me later, like, did you actually thought that you win? I was like, oh, Mill doesn't win games in Redemption? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I just, from there, the joke was born, Mill wins games. Yep, so uh, if I had if I had played my Angel yeah. Party right, then maybe, maybe maybe it would be accurate, you know, for this game. Yeah. But, you know, it was still, it, it was still a, a win. Yeah. Uh, Obviously. Sword, uh... Hero's Daughter isn't NT, but you wouldn't have, you just would have not played it. And right, that's yeah. Fun. Yeah, so yeah. her and Moses, I've got... Uh, or you could 20 shekels, Pharaoh's daughter, and then right, be yeah. fine. Yeah, so normally normally she goes down as evil for Plague of Hail. Right. Yeah, but... And uh, and then Moses matters. can be bounced with shekels or send the helper. Right. Um, yeah, no, I feel like... I understand why you put it as good, though. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I didn't have Moses at that point, so I didn't really... Yeah. I was like, all right, just one more hero that I have... I can play white enhancements on just in case. And yeah. I had Virgin Birth too, which didn't really matter, but. Uh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised because I, th I think that's. Yeah, I mean, this was an amazing game. I think, I think definitely the progression, I think, has definitely showed itself because it went from Mill wins games to um, Nativity Lock to actual competent deck who made a really good play, I'd say, with Feichel. Yep. <laughs> I'm still impressed with myself for doing that. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think it's Jeremy playing Patmos to cheese Ananias, but it's, it's there. Yeah, it's a you it's a very heads up play. I think that's that would be the 
Great way to yeah. To it's talk uh, about I it. used I used um my singular brain cell. Play. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Wow. All right. Well, we'll uh, catch you later. Have a good rest of your weekend. You too.